They have their own language, dress code, and way of life. Hutterites have been a part of Saskatchewan for decades, but most of us have no idea what life on a colony is like. Our Julie Clark found out for us on a colony not far from Saskatoon. In 1987, the Hillsville Hutterite colony at Cutknife branched off to create Sunnydale colony near Purdue. Over a hundred Hutterites call this colony home. They take pride in being diverse, self-sufficient and following their beliefs. That's what drives us every day is our religion and our work. Hutterites lead very traditional farm lives. Both men and women have many tasks, but it's all done gender specific, even for meals and church. And the women never step into where the men are and the men never into the, where the women are. So we, our women are actually above us in a way. They're never below us. We couldn't be without them. Wirtz says there's around 50 jobs on the colony. Whether it's the coffee roastery, canola crush plant or wood shop, each colony enterprise has a manager. Miserable. I am miserable. <laughs> For the first 15 years of their lives, Hutterites attend German and English school. They finish school when they've completed grade 8. We get in the morning, we snack, and in the afternoon now we play. And we do, when we're done, five minutes of recess, we do something, art. And on the colony, we do a slip and slide. Like, we have a big hill back there, and it's, like, so much fun. And we bring a fire truck with water and the soap. Hutterites begin dating around the age of 18, visiting other colonies. They don't wear jewelry, so when they get married, the husband grows a beard. They never used to believe in technology. TVs are not allowed, but the elders have given permission to use cell phones and computers to communicate and stay competitive in business, especially farming. Some people criticize Hutterites for buying up much of Western Canadian farmland. The neighbor forgets he farms four or 5,000 acres for one family. We've got 35 families here. Divide that amongst 25,000 acres, that's less than 1,000 acres per family. Nobody looks at it that way. But Wirt says a good community relationship with neighbours and towns is very important to colonies. There's no such thing as a paycheck on a colony. All the money goes into one bank account and each family, depending on household numbers, gets an allowance to spend as they please. I can do it with my eyes closed. Already. The modest Hutterite dress code hasn't changed much over the years, staying true to their culture. The women spend much of the winter sewing new clothes. That's how we are. We want to be different. We want to be known as the Hutterites. The Sunnydale colony hopes to prosper and grow well into the future, in time branching off to create another successful Saskatchewan Hutterite colony. Julie Clark, CTV News, near Purdue.